You want to become more organized at home? Right. Want to learn more about yourself? Right. You want to develop a deeper understanding on how to be closer to your friends? Right. You want to get closer to your parents? Right. Sisters, brothers? Right. Write a book? Right. Want to be a fitness coach? Right. Writing clarifies your goals. Okay. What I'm sharing with you is a note that I wrote to myself. I'm going to share it because sharing is caring. If you have past trauma that you have not taken the time to work through just yet, then start to work on that just little by little. I will always recommend getting a therapist because they see things that you may not be able to see from your hurt. With that, write out how it made you feel. Write out the situation as it happened. We're getting closer and closer to the year 2025, which is super crazy, but that's okay because now the game starts to change a little bit. This is honestly the perfect time to start buckling down on things that you're going to work on and work towards in 2025. Something that I've recently done that has helped me that I would like to share, instead of thinking about writing every single day, because sometimes looking at the week can get overwhelming, especially if you experience writer's block. Why you keep experiencing writer's block? Well, it's really very simple. There is a decrease somewhere else in your thought process. Something is blocking you from tapping in to that unlimited source of creativity that you have. And I'm talking to myself. I feel like I'm about to preach. As a mother of a child who is ever growing, always present, I oftentimes do not get to complete my writing sessions the way I want to. And so what I had to do to revamp set ways of writing and getting into the mood of writing, I had to take time, put it to the side and realize that at least 30 minutes of writing will make a huge difference compared to no writing at all that day. In the morning, write for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes goes by pretty fast when you're not looking at the time. Trust me, these are things that we know. We just don't realize it until we actually do it. The sooner you start writing, the better. Think about writing as something that helps to exercise that muscle in your brain. Getting to a point where you're taking time and you're putting 15 to 30 minutes in writing will continue to elevate your way of thinking because you're putting words to your thoughts and I don't think a lot of people think about what that looks like because when you're not writing you're just sitting with your thoughts every single day and sometimes they can replay and how much time and energy is being wasted rethinking thoughts that you should have just written down so now that your brain is free and has space to keep growing and think about other things that can change your life there is more to life than what is in front of you. Take the time to write. Even if you don't know what to write, just write something, like write a diary entry to yourself. Or if you believe, write a letter to God. There will come a time when your own words will speak to you more than any amount of words from anybody else. You have a business that you're wanting to start. Writing is the key to elevating your thought process on how you're going to run that business. If you're wanting to start a YouTube channel, writing is key because you're taking all of that space that you have in your brain and you're starting to flush out your ideas, flush out your thought process, flush out what's gonna work for you and what's not gonna work for you. And the best part about writing is there is no right or wrong way to write out ideas. Get you some sticky notes and just write. Get a diary, get a journal and just write. Get a dry erase board and just write. Even if those ideas don't come to life as soon as you write them down, it doesn't matter. You just freed yourself from thinking about an idea over and over and over again. As I continue to work on my writing skills, I will be sharing these notes that I make to myself, whether they're sitting right here on my MacBook or in the journal or right behind me, wherever it is. I'm gonna continue to share these things because it's important to me to share. Here on the Nellie Drayton Show, my goal is to continue to elevate. At the same time, I want all of those who are around me to elevate. If Becoming a better writer is something that you're really looking forward to, then you've come to the right page. If you're wanting to really understand who you are as a person, then you've come to the right place because writing is going to help you with that. You're going to tap into something that you've never thought that you could tap in before by writing. It does something to the brain when you're able to clarify thoughts, no matter who tries to manipulate you, no matter who tries to tell you what you are and what you're not, no matter how you were raised, you do not have to be the product of your environment. If you do not want to be, writing will help you to see that for yourself. I shared my thoughts on one of Rupi Kaur's newest books and one that 
also helped me with my writing. And next thing you know, I feel this urge to write poetry. It just, I don't know how or why. Oh wait, I do, because I keep reading books. See what I did there? It's science, really and truly. And one day I'm gonna make that connection. Just give me some time. I'm gonna read something that is um, very, it's very much me. I'm gonna keep sharing some more books that I have read that have helped me to write some of the entries that I'm gonna share with you guys. This doesn't have a title. I don't think it needs one either. This was written at 8.07 a.m. I don't know how else to say, but I cannot give love this way. In this life, in this phase, I choose to chase love away. I do not have enough to give. My child receives half and the rest is for me. I give love to my thoughts and my own energy. The characters of untold stories take my love too. Without them, I am through. The heart I have towards the stories in my heart take up a lot of space. Without them, I would fall apart. So I am honest to you about how I feel. The feelings I have for you are quite real. That is all you can have from me. Because the love I have left sets me free. Drops Mike. Writing is going to change your life if you take it seriously. What do you want to do with your life? You want to become more organized at home? Right. Want to learn more about yourself? Right. You want to develop a deeper understanding on how to be closer to your friends? Right. You want to get closer to your parents? Right. Sisters, brothers? Right. Write a book? Right. You want to be a fitness coach? Right. Writing is the answer for everything. Just pick up a piece of paper and pen. Take 30 minutes out of your day. That's it. I promise. It's going to change your life. Write out your everyday thoughts. Notes to myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs>